Hello guys, and welcome to my very first hair tutorial thing on this channel. I've never done one of these before, but the other day in our daily vlog, some of you guys were asking how I made that bow on top of my head out of my own hair, and so I would like to make a video showing you guys how to do it. It's really easy, and with just a little bit of practice, you can master it. It takes me like two minutes tops to do it, so it's a really cute, really quick hairstyle. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do, depending on what your hair is like, um, just normally, you're probably gonna wanna straighten it or just use some kind of smoothing serum or anything that's gonna kinda defrizz your hair a little bit. I went through mine a little bit with a straightener. I didn't do it too perfectly because it's gonna be up, but just to get everything kinda smoothed down. So you're just gonna need whatever your favorite hairspray is. My nail polish exploded on this bottle, so that's why it looks like that, but any kind of light hold hairspray. Um, I use a Topsy Tail. It's like a really old tool. It was from the 90s and it's awesome to do any kind of light like tucking in the ends of hairstyles or any little fun flips, it's super easy to do. Um, you can do it a different way, you don't have to use that. You'll need a few bobby pins and a hair elastic. Of Most likely, the best thing to use would be whatever matches your natural hair color so it stays hidden when you do the final product. You can start by brushing out your hair, I didn't say that part. You can brush out your hair however you want. I have to take this out, but I have crazy bangs, so just ignore that. And so what I usually start by doing is, you can flip your head over it if that's easier for you, but mostly just kind of start brushing the hair in the direction of a high ponytail. If your hair is kind of like wily like mine, you sort of have to train it to go that way. So once you've kind of just got it going sort of upwards, you can just smooth it into your ponytail. I don't use a brush to put my hair in a ponytail. You can do it if you want it to look a little bit more smooth. If you don't like bumpies or whatever, you can do that. But I'm just going to do this really quickly to show you guys. So. I usually do mine sort of right on the crown of my head. You can do it wherever it looks best for your face, whatever you want to do, but this is where I'm going to put my ponytail, just sort of right at the crown of my head. And so this is the important part. You wrap it like a normal ponytail, but when you get to here, you just start to pull the hair halfway through, and you stop with enough ends that will wrap around to make the middle of your bow. So this right here is going to be separated and turned into the two sides of your bow. So it's going to be like that. That's going to be the side. So this part, this step, is going to determine how wide your bow sits on your head. So if you want it smaller, don't pull as much hair through. If you want it wider or your hair is longer, you can pull more hair through so that you have maybe, I don't know, maybe like five or six inches of ends hanging out the back. So now you're going to take your ends, and I'm going to use my little tool here, but you don't necessarily have to do that. You can do it with bobby pins or whatever. You're just going to want to take all of your ends and you're going to want to pull those through here if you have one of these guys that works really well. I just threaded my own hair. Okay, so then what I do is I keep these separated and I just bend this through and I'm putting it underneath the elastic and I'm wrapping my hair around the ends and I'm going to just slowly, to make sure it doesn't like pull the ponytail too loose, wiggle this through. Okay, almost there. There we go. So now what I'm going to do is before I kind of arrange the bow back to a nice shape, I'm going to take one bobby pin and I'm just going to tuck the ends of my hair because of the length of my hair and the way that I did the first part of the style. I can sort of hide those remaining ends and I'm just going to sort of bobby pin it back here. I'm going to fix this later because I can't exactly see what it looks like right now, but that's what I'm going to do to just hold it for now. Almost there. Now my hair is probably, it's a little frizzy right now, so it might not do this perfectly, but what I would do from here is I would sort of just go through my little ends of my bow and just tug on them a little bit to make them as wide and as fluffy as you want. And you can do any kind of pinning that you want if you feel like it's too loose and it's going to come out. What I've done in the past is I've just taken a bobby pin or two and I've sort of gone for right where those ends are and I just sort of conceal the pin like that and that sort of hides um, the bobby pin because I don't want them to show but it also keeps those ends in place. They won't slide out back through the loop that you just put them through. You can just basically do whatever you want from here. Um, you can pin these down if you want it to look more like flat and secure and all the way to your head. You can fluff these out a little bit. I usually just pull on them a little bit and sometimes I'll just take hairspray depending on what I want it to look like. You can just stick your finger in one of the little ends and just kind of spray it like that just a couple times and it'll keep it a little bit more with a little more volume. And that's pretty much how you do it, and then I have bangs, so it's gonna look ridiculous. But then you can just sort of smooth whatever you want. If the hair looks a little weird back here, which mine does right now, because I have layered hair and so the ends are kind of weird, you can take whatever is not looking good in the back and just sort of pin it down. Okay, so this is pretty much the finished product, and you guys can, you know, like I said, touch it up however you want. You could even put, like, a, I don't know, if you wanna put something cute back here, like, uh, like a smaller actual fabric bow, or if you wanted to put a flower or something in the back to hide the elastic, if it still shows, you can do that. 
you can do anything you want with this hairstyle. It's pretty fun. You can do it lower, you can do two or five million, it doesn't matter. You can do it wherever you want and it looks really cute. Um, I actually found this hair idea from another YouTuber who does her daughter's hair and I wanted to try it on myself and um, so I just wanted to show you guys how to do it. But the link to the other video is in the description below. It was a pretty cool idea so I wanted to try it. If you guys like this video and you want to see me do more tutorials or just little tidbits about any kind of beauty tips like makeup or hair, definitely let me know in the comments below. I would love to do some more for you guys. I just never really know what to do. So let me know what you would like to see me teach you and I will go ahead and do that for you guys. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to come back next week when I post more videos. Thanks guys!